Justice with Judge Maybelline will be life because in everything we do, it involves the law. You came to court to testify about what you heard, what you saw, and what you know. She's fair. I don't have a hearing problem. This ear works good. This one works even better. She's firm. I'm not responsible for that ticket, and I'm not going to pay for it. Who says you're not going to pay for it? I make that decision, not you. She's honest. What do you have to say? All I have to Nothing. say. Nothing. <laughs> this is Justice with Judge Maybelline. Elroy and Allison Gray are suing Alonzo Dupree in the amount of $8,999. They allege the defendant swapped their wedding ring with a duplicate that was two sizes too small. This is a matter of Elroy and Allison Gray versus Alonzo Dupree, and the Grays are suing Mr. Dupree for $8,999, the cost of a wedding ring that was purchased because you believe that the defendant switched the rings with you, get right. to the altar, right. exchange the vows, put the ring on that left hand, and the ring doesn't fit. How did we get to that? Tell me about it, Mr. Gray. Well, uh, we went in about six months before the wedding to buy a ring, picked out one that she just absolutely loved, and uh, had her finger size for the ring, and it was going to be perfect. We put the ring on layaway, and about a month before the wedding, I came to pick it up. Um, I gave it to my best man, who was going to give it to me at the wedding. Well, walk down the aisle, all that, I go to put the ring on, and it won't fit on her finger. So Why? It was too small. Wow. Six months later, it was too small? Right, which doesn't make sense. I mean, we sized it and everything. It should have fit perfect. So I don't know if... He sized it wrong, or if it's a different ring, or what happened. But he sized it perfectly wrong. I, I, I'm going to let you talk. Did it look like the same ring? It looked like the same ring. Did you have any identifying marks on the ring be when you purchased it? No. Did it have a serial number? Not as far as I know. It, so you didn't look at the ring other than looking at the ring? All I looked at was that she liked it. Okay. <laughs> so you really don't know. Right. I probably need to talk to her because she liked it so she right. knows better than you probably what that ring looked like. Yeah. All right, tell me about it, Mrs. Gray. It was very humiliating for me because we've been um, sweethearts since high school for 15 wow. years. Wow. And I always wanted a heart-shaped ring. Mm -hmm. um, so when his brother recommended that we go see Mr. Dupree and that he ha could lay away and do a payment program for us, I was really excited and I tried on the ring, which is the same size as my engagement ring that I have here now that still fits me. So and what size is that? Seven. But you didn't get your engagement ring from Mr. Dupree, I take it. Uh, right. We trusted um, Mr. Dupree to keep the ring on layaway and um, I was not there when it was picked up. I didn't ever expect that it wouldn't be my size. So you didn't see it again until he was trying to put it on your hand. Right. We thought that it would be bad luck for me to try it on um, close oh, really? to the wedding. Somebody we told you that? We did, and I was trying on my wedding dress, and um, that fit perfectly. But this all happened on my birthday, and it was an expensive wedding. Um, so when we went up to the altar and to say our I do's, and he slipped it on my finger, it wouldn't go past my knuckle. Let and me see the ring. Okay. But six months passed. That's true, but... Were there any changes in your body? No, I'm a yoga instructor, and um, I actually I have been... said a heart-shaped diamond ring. That's not a heart shape is. I put my glasses on. <laughs> 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 to me, it didn't look like the same ring that... Did you say you I bought a heart-shaped diamond ring? That's what I had put on layaway. That's what I had picked out six months ago. Okay. So it was very Your upsetting turn. and quite Wait, a surprise. What kind of ring is that? <laughs> is that heart shaped to you? It appears to be a flower to me, Your Honor. Yeah, me too. <laughs> heart from a heart to a flower. <laughs> okay, yes, and give it was it back so humiliating. Um, the music stopped at the wedding, and everybody gasped, and I started to cry and um, oh. left the altar. You left the because altar. Because it was so humiliating. You I, left him at the altar. I had to go talk her back. Oh, the because the ring didn't fit? Yeah. Now, did you go back to Mr. Dupree at any time? Well, we went on our honeymoon, 
and we called without him. Without the ring. Right. We called him and let him know, and he said, well, come in and we'll take care of it. So we went on our honeymoon. When we came back, uh, it was the 3rd of July, we went in, and he told us it was too late. He said it was too late? Yeah. He said that... A week this, after you no, had purchased this would, the ring? This would have been... Um, just over a month because so you picked it up a month before the wedding you had the wedding and you were gone for a week so five weeks right he his said policy it was too late 30 days right his policy was 30 days it's he changed within 30 days okay right. and he said that he would like to charge us 250 dollars to resize the ring but i would like a full refund because i don't like to do business with um unethical people so you just don't want the ring anymore that's right i would oh, okay. like to get another ring from a reliable source. All right, I've heard your story. Now, let me hear from Mr. Dupree. When they came in, they actually saw, a, a, she wanted a heart-shaped band, or heart-shaped ring, and we sh showed it to her, and I, I fitted it myself. It, weighed, it was exactly seven, her size, on her finger. Um, but she ended up not getting that ring, and they ended up getting a, a heart shape. Or a, Why didn't they get the heart-shaped ring, the one that you fitted for that was a size seven? They ended up getting a different ring. So Wait a it was minute the same now. Size. I'm confused. Did I hear you right? I thought you said she wanted a heart-shaped ring. She saw the ring. You fitted her for it. It was a size seven. They were fitting all size sevens, yes. But the oh, ring they were trying on all size sevens. Correct. See, when you say fitted in my mind, it means that you did it precisely for her finger. We were try Some of them didn't fit her finger, okay. but then we'd have to find one that did fit her finger all right. so that she could see what it looked like on her finger at the time Okay. as demo. Uh, but the, the heart-shaped one she wanted, she didn't end up getting. She got the one that you see there. Coming up on Justice with Judge Maybelline. So why doesn't it fit her? She must be gaining if weight. If you size it. She's doing. Well, you have a that, lot of excuses. I'm serious, miss. That ring, as soon as she bought it, it fit. And later. Were you aware of these coins? Yeah, I'm aware of the coins, okay, but I wasn't aware. Okay, were you aware, aware of, of the value? Yes, I was. And did you see the coins on the bed? I saw them on the bed. But so she did she really have to tell you not to put them in the suitcase? Justice with Judge Maybelline. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Elroy and Allison Gray, who are suing Alonzo Dupree for breach of contract and fraud. So would you let him see that ring? You hold it, Will. We don't want him to have it back. Yes, and I had never seen that design, actually. So you're saying that's the ring she chose? That's the ring they bought, yes. Yep. Does they anybody have a one. receipt for the ring? Yes. Yeah. Is it descriptive in the receipt? Um, uh, no. No description? There's, wow. there's just a serial number. There's no actual model number or describing the shape of the ring, but the serial number, when I pull up the file, it'll show up as the one that they purchased. You bought a ring for $9,000. I believe he switched You did the not ring. get a receipt that says, that has any kind of description of this ring? I mean, or you didn't take a picture to attach to this receipt? Uh, they knew exactly what they wanted, Your Honor. They're just trying to get their money back. That's what I believe. Wait a minute. They couldn't afford it. Are you, this was the receipt? Right. You don't have any picture. You don't have a serial number. You don't have anything to identify this ring other than the fact that you purchased a heart-shaped ring. No, I mean, I never obviously bought a ring before. And I just thought this is how it goes. Okay, okay, so what is your retort to his statement that you tried on a number of rings? She yeah. tried on the heart-shaped ring in a size 7. It did fit her, but she did not purchase that ring. She selected the ring that you have. Well, the, the main issue we have is that it's not, it's not even the right size. So, in the, so the ring that she has now is not the right size? Right. And it's this not ring the right is not the right size. Ring. So even if she had selected that ring, it's still not the right size. Right. Which kind of oh. goes to show that it's so this not ring the doesn't ring. fit you. Right, and it was on the sale shelf, and, he, and Mr. Dupree keeps talking to us about that we couldn't afford to get a ring from full price, and I believe that he's trying to that he's a crook. He's trying to get us okay, to buy so another what, ring. Let me go back to him now. Let's assume that that's the ring she purchased, mm -hmm. and she didn't purchase a heart shaped ring. So why doesn't it fit her? She must be gaining weight. I don't know whatever it. she's doing. Well, you have a that, lot of excuses. I'm serious, miss. That ring, as soon as she bought it, it fit. And it was a size 7. She didn't want the heart-shaped one, which we made fit on her. So we fit, fit a separate ring myself. But, but this floor ring left. is not fitting her either. That one's probably because of her weight. Does. 
Now, how do you know that she gained weight? Who told you that? I you know, had, okay, do you have I a picture is... to show me that when she came in to buy the ring, she looked like this, and now that she looks like this? Do you have anything to tell, to suggest, or I to substantiate no. your claim that she gained weight? Because she I says can... I didn't. I could say, though, that that ring, I measured it myself at seven, and that's a seven ring. That's what we gave her. That's what oh, they Mr. ordered. Dupree, I don't have anything humiliating. to measure in the ring, because I don't have one of those little ring measuring things. I was but it doesn't fit her finger. No. Right. She and must she, have been gaining Come on now, Mr. Mr. Dupree. Most women in America almost kill themselves to lose weight. They almost starve themselves to death to lose weight as opposed to gaining weight. 15 years they've been together, finally about to be married, six months with a ring on layaway, and your only statement is she must have gained weight? The she reason that ring doesn't fit? She couldn't have lost weight, Your Honor. I saw her six months ago. But my knuckle doesn't gain weight, and it will not go over my knuckle. <laughs> so I feel yes, that your knuckle you have... does gain weight now. When you gain weight, Everything on your body can increase in weight. Your finger sizes get larger. Even your toe sizes get larger when you gain weight. Your foot size gets larger. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> From experience, true. everything gets larger, including your head. But now, Mr. Dupree, as an honest businessman, that's not the ring she purchased, she said. She's not satisfied with the ring. Neither does it fit her. She doesn't want the heart-shaped ring. She just wants you to take your ring back and to refund their money. In my judgment, that's a fair exchange of this issue. Neither of you loses, so that's my judgment. I want her to return that ring to you, but only when you return her $8,999. That's the order of the court. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. A third party will oversee the return of the ring and the refund of the money. I'm glad the judge is having you give us our money back. We really don't want that ring. I'm sorry the ring didn't fit. You'll get the money back. And coming up... Were you aware of these coins? Yeah, I'm aware of the coins, okay, but I wasn't aware... Okay, were you aware, aware of, of the value? Yes, I was. And did you see the coins on the bed? I saw them on the bed, but so she So did told... she really have to tell you not to put them in the suitcase? Justice with Judge Maybelline. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. Judy Westham is suing her sister Vanessa Gomez in the amount of $5,000 to cover the cost of rare coins lost in the defendant's luggage. This is a matter of Judy Westham versus Vanessa Gomez, and this is big sister suing little sister for $5,000 because you allege that she lost your rare coins. Is that right? That is correct, Your Honor. So now you tell me about it. My little sister was irresponsible once again, and this time it cost us $15,000. Your Honor, that's not fair. Um, my All grandmother... Right, tell me, and then I will hear from you. Thank you, Your Honor. My grandmother gave me $15,000 worth of rare coins that I was uh, going to pass along to my nephews who are about to graduate high school. We're going to visit my sister um, back at Christmas. So this was going to be kind of their Christmas and graduation present. I was going to split it between the boys, their twins. I had some last minute things to do right before the trip with work. I'm a real estate agent and I had to close on a house right before we left and asked my little sister. Oh, that's good. So now tell me how she can get involved in this. My little sister lived with me at the time, mm -hmm. and I asked her. I had all of my lug all of my things to pack laid out on the bed. All I did was ask her to put everything in the suitcase for me because I was going to have to meet her at the airport. And I asked her to keep the coins with her so I could put them in my carry-on. And that's the one thing she didn't do because she was probably hungover. She went out the night before. She wasn't paying attention. Okay, like I don't always. need you to tell me why she didn't do it because if you knew she was hungover, not paying attention, and all the reasons why she didn't do it, you were stupid for asking her to do it in the first place. So please but I didn't don't have tell a me choice you knew that because I couldn't. I didn't have time to go home. Oh yeah, so there were choices. Choice at the time okay or we were gonna miss our flight well you still had choices so th the point is you don't know what was going on you just know that she didn't put them and she put them in the absolutely. suitcase as opposed to bringing them to you absolutely okay and now she's gonna tell me why she did that what happened okay what happened your honor was that uh first of all she did not tell me not to put the coins that's in the luggage true at all she did it. She did it. She just said, put everything that's on the bed in the luggage, and that's exactly what I did. And I she said, didn't everything want me on the bed. Uh, 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 nope, we're not going to have that. We're not going to have it. 
If she didn't want me to put the coins in the luggage, she would have told me. But first of all, she never answers her phone calls or her text message. So how am I supposed to know? She knows that I work late at night and she should have mentioned. She, she should have said something. Coming up. So she wouldn't agree Honor, to do she's that. Trying to get money off and of I me, know Your Honor. that she, she makes money. I cannot too. have both of you talking at the same time. I've said it twice. I will not say it again. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Judy Westham, who is suing Vanessa Gomez for the loss of personal property. Were you aware of these coins? Yeah, I'm aware of the coins, okay, but I wasn't aware of Okay, were you aware of the value? Yes, I was. And did you see the coins on the bed? I saw them on the bed. But so she did told... she really have to tell you not to put them in the suitcase? Well, she told me to put everything that's on the bed on the, to the suitcase. So, so you just exactly. literally followed what she yeah, said? Yeah, exactly. I specifically okay. told her not to put the coins. No, okay, but didn't. now it's $15,000 you said worth, but you're suing for 5000 Is it fifteen dollars or five? It's $15,000 is what they're worth, and I have evidence actually right here. Okay, so why are you like only suing for five? Give that, but I had insurance on my luggage because I travel often. Okay. So I had $10,000 worth of insurance. I went to her and asked her for the 5000 because it wasn't for me, it was for the boys, so now she's affecting my nephews. So she wouldn't Your agree Honor, to do she's that. she's trying to get money off And of I me, know Your Honor. that she, she makes money. I cannot student. have both of you talking at the same time. I've said it twice. I will not say it again. So I asked her if she would pay the extra 5000 for the boys so I could send it to them, and she refused to do that, so I had to serve her papers. So what happened to the luggage? Well, we had a connecting flight. I believe her luggage got lost within that connecting flight, which is really... What do you really... mean you believe her luggage got well, lost? Well, obviously her luggage got lost during that connecting flight. It's not my fault Was that... it ever recovered? No, we never got it back. No luggage was recovered. You nope. filed a claim with your insurance company for the value of the coins. It was the insurance that I usually use when I travel. Oh, for the flight insurance? Correct. Okay, and they paid you $10,000? Yes. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. So you're saying that she put them in there deliberately? Yeah, because she's done things like that in the past. I don't know if she just needs attention or I don't know what the deal is with her, but she has cost me so much and so much money. I've bailed her out of things. Uh -huh. I've asked her and to she's be... just such an irresponsible person, right? She is, And actually. has proven herself to be irresponsible over and over again. She gets away with it a lot, yeah. And you don't understand why she's so irresponsible baby and she gets away with everything so why the devil did you ask her to put your fifteen thousand dollars worth of coins in your suitcase and when you know that she has a history of being irresponsible sounds like to me that you use poor judgment if you have a sister who has consistently i don't care if she's sister friend whomever it is but when people show you who they are says maya angelou believe it your request is denied and judgment for the defendant. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim is denied. It's a shame and frustrating that you have to bring me to court, but you're still my older sister and I still love you. Well, of course I love you, you're my sister, but I had to teach you a lesson and I hope that you learned it. Production of Entertainment Studio.